another ooky, spooky week begins. This is your reading for Monday, April 29th. If you'd like to see the spread, LVX Media Net on Instagram. It is published in the stories. All right. The theme card today is the inverted page of wands. The keywords are distraction, impatience, lacking ideas, and laziness. The tool card is the nine of swords, uh, nightmares, breaking points, and despair. The obstacle card is death. Uh, this card signifies change, transition, and letting go of the past. Our uh, advice card today is the wheel of fortune. The message here being go with the flow. The sixth instinct is humanity. This is the initiative to help people all over the world, um, from individual people up to organizations to governments and all the rest of it. Moon phase, waning gibbous. This is where we shed bad habits as we move towards the new moon. All right, let's put it all together. So it's not a great start to the week with this particular theme card. The inverted page of wands is a symbol of being unable to follow through on things, to be like an idea person, but never with the action necessary to take things further. Even if just it's just leadership and delegating and finding the right resources, regardless of what it is, you're not taking the actions necessary to make those things come to fruition. But a possible silver lining here is that if one of the projects or ideas that we have and we start to put effort into isn't advancing, it's a sign of needing to drop it and focus on what's important. So the tool card to making that kind of determination of whether to walk away from a project is having a bit of a sense of worry. Now, the Nine of Swords in as a tool card, it's a fine line to walk because it's usually a sign of something that worries us so much, it gets to the point that we lose sleep over it and if we ever do get to sleep, we're plagued by nightmares about it. So the idea here is to try and harness that worry and channel it into keeping us from committing to too many things that we know aren't likely to pan out. Uh, we can use this worry of long-term failure that are ca that's caused by short-term mistakes to keep us focused on the things that we need to be focused on. But the obstacle that we have in this effort is the ever-changing nature of the world around us. So the death card, it's usually a good sign that positive changes are starting to break into our favor. But I think in the obstacle position, we're looking at a situation where we need to stick to what we know works, um, but we're probably being drawn towards the newest and latest, you know, whatever it is that's going on. Uh, I have a, I definitely am a, have that tendency to like on hard shell tacos, just there's a, something we talked about over there about exactly this. Uh, but all right, the advice card um, is the one that we have to keep us on the straight and narrow is to just go with it, go with the flow. Um, let's keep our head, our heads down and keep it moving and trust to the machinations of the universe to guide us in the right direction. Uh, it's a bit um, like Jesus take the wheel kind of thing, I guess, if you want to look at it that way. But um, I trust it to whatever, you know, higher power that you care to call upon. Uh, sixth instinct today is just one of being generally helpful to people around us. Um, I think it's like a be the change kind of card. And yeah, it's a, a simple act of kindness. It's just that it's simple. It doesn't take a lot of effort to really make someone's day, possibly their week, and possibly you don't even know what they might be dealing with. And um, a simple act of kindness can really change the trajectory of their lives. It, it can be that profound. And nobody is expecting you, me, us as an individual person, we're, nobody's expecting us to change the whole world you know, with, with one hand of our own, but you can change the world for one person. So I think that might be the idea here. Um, the moon phase is one of shedding bad habits. So I take this to mean that the implications of the theme and the obstacle card, uh, just keep, 
keep yourself uh, focused. Don't let yourself be distracted from the vital aspects of, our, of life right now just to try to stay on the latest trends. So the stone, it's a turquoise. Um, it's best used uh, to protect ourselves from negative energy creeping into and changing our thoughts for the worse. And it's also for attracting good fortune. So there you go. All right. That is Monday, April 29th. Uh, if you would like to see how I put all this together, um, I publish a video at the end of every week. Go over to patreon.com slash lvxmedianet. Sign up for the Ookie Spooky tier and it'll be there. Uh, yeah, it's a, a Friday or Saturday, whatever, as soon as I can, or depending on when I get to it, regardless. Um, it's like a little, it's a whole little ritual that I do. Uh, comes, there's a lot more to it than just picking up a deck, uh, shuffling it, and pulling out some cards. There's a lot more to it than that. Um, so yeah, if you want to see how I do that, there you go. Uh, if you would like a private reading, a personal one, uh, on our website, lvxmedia.net, go to the spooky page. You can hit the spooky button. It's right there on the front. And uh, scroll down a little bit. You can see there's a form to fill out where you provide, you know, as much information as you'd like. The more detail you can give me, the better. Um, and my favorite part, or what I feel is an important part of it, is uh, I have the artwork for all of the decks that I have. So you can pick the one that you like. If you don't like, if you don't want one to pick one, then, you know, that's fine too. I just think it's important to have uh, the artwork be more representative of you. So there's that. Um, questions, comments, concerns, or whatever, 833-LUX-PODS. That's the phone line. If you'd like your audio cut into the show, call and it goes straight to voicemail. Otherwise, text is fine too. Um, you can hit us up on WhatsApp with that exact same number um, if you want to chat there. But that one is the number, 833-589-7637. Uh, last thing, uh, regarding private readings and social media handles and the phone line, all the rest of that stuff, if you're trying to get in touch, uh, it's important for you to re remember or to know if you didn't know, um, the social media inboxes are not private they are not uh i am not the only person that accesses those i'm not the only person that manages our social media accounts there are other you know, some of my my partners in the business have access to it too so keep that in mind um if you're gonna send me something fucking crazy and weird which you should not do but if you do other people might read that so keep that in mind uh the forum on the website is I can guarantee that privacy because it that goes directly to me but other uh, any pretty much anything else I can't so keep that in mind but there you go that's gonna do it I'll see you tomorrow same ooky time same spooky place